Hey guys, it's MC Fixit here. I have this tonneau cover and uh, the system to actually pull it and get it open is uh, about on its last day. In fact, this side doesn't even work anymore. It should look like this when it is not being pulled. And then when you pull that, it comes back and allows it to do exactly what it's supposed to. Also, this is really frayed. Um, so I probably will have to end up replacing the whole line as well. And I did buy a second one of these for that side. So I'm gonna walk you through all the tools, the supplies and the know-how on how to get this project done and get your tonneau cover back up and running properly and actually latching how it should. So here are the tools and the supplies for these trigger latches. You're gonna to wanna to get two trigger latches and well, at least one, because I have one that's broken, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace both of them uh, because you gotta pretty much take it apart anyways. And so have two brand new ones. Um, those are really important that you get the same size as your vehicle. Um, I'm using 116 coated stainless steel. I'm using some crimps and some thimbles so it can really hold on there tight. Um, I'm going to be using uh, rivets. And so these are the 3 16 inch rivets. Um, and they need to be the long ones at half an inch to make this work. There's just enough room because there's a second layer that's already on there. And once these go in and you have that second layer, this will go ahead and rivet in and up and get it nice and tight and hold it in there well. I have a rivet tool here. Uh, I'm gonna use clear tape because you have to peel off uh, some old stuff that was taped down. It's not holding weight. It's just uh, kind of like 3M tape. I have Gorilla Glue tape here. You will need a crimper tool uh, for these crimp pieces. Um, I used a about a three inch putty knife and a box cutter. And I even used this kind of a box cutter you can pull the blade out of. Couldn't find my flat box cutter that I can scrape real well with. I don't know where it went. Um, pair of scissors, some kind of snips are really helpful when cutting wire. This also has a wire cutter on it, which is kind of nice. I didn't realize that towards the end, this is a brand new tool for me. Uh, I used pliers as well. Um, I, you will need a drill and a 3 16 drill bit that will drill out the old, the old ones and then allow you to put in those rivets. Um, you can use uh, like something like JB Weld. I would do one of the quicker ones um, if you don't have any of the the tape like that. Um, this is a one inch tape. You really need a half inch tape, but I'll show you what I did with the one inch tape to cut it down and it worked perfect. And so these are all the tools and the supplies. You may need some other things uh, for your particular make or model, but I hope this helps give you at least a really good a starting idea on what you will need. You may wanna go ahead and get a second uh, drill bit as well, because you're gonna be drilling out at least four of these. And they are easy to break because with rust and everything else, if you don't hit dead center, it can sometimes go in at an angle and uh, then you have an issue and you can break a drill bit. In fact, I broke one. So uh, here you go. We're gonna go ahead and jump right on into the project. So the first step is actually not to even mess with this. We're gonna go ahead and come here and use that knife and we're gonna cut whatever kind of adhesion they put on here. It could be something like 3M tape you may take a couple of passes through and that did it. It does look like some kind of 3M tape. And we'll do the same thing here. A couple of passes through. And that is some kind of 3M tape, just like I thought that might be. So right here is the piece that is not working. Even when I push it all the way, this thing should be fully extended each and every time. And it is not. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up just a little bit while I'm right here. And you'll wanna do the same thing to this. You wanna go ahead and clean that up. And so just like that, that thing's pretty well cleaned up. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side. So once you have all of that cleaned off and on the back side of this all cleaned off, we are gonna go ahead, we do need to be careful on this. This is that 3 16 We're gonna go ahead and begin to drill down into it. 
there it goes. You heard it kind of pop down in. There's four total. Here's the second. And so you do want to be careful not to go too deep. So as soon as that thing hits, you're good. And this one did scoot off just a little bit from center. And so I'm gonna have to drill it in just a little bit this direction. There it goes. Oh, and I broke my bit. That can't happen as well, especially when you're not drilling it in center. And so my drill bit did break because it hit that, but that's okay. I have more drill bits. Don't do exactly what I did. Make sure you're going straight down and in. I'm gonna go ahead and get another drill bit. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can just clean this one up with this. I can. And so that is right what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and take this piece off next, and then we'll go ahead and hit up the rivets and get that done. I'm gonna use the same thing again. I'm gonna use my knife and come in and cut. Same thing on this back side. And then we'll go ahead and clean this up. So I'm gonna use that three inch putty knife. It's gonna do a really good job just pulling up that. You just want to make sure that's nice and cleaned up so the next set of adhesion actually works. Uh, then we'll go ahead. The goal of this is not to cut yourself. So just go slow. Like this here. like that so that is all cleaned up we'll go ahead and use that 3 16 and get all of those four rivets out all right that's what you want sometimes you do have to push that crap back down in too and these sometimes come off real easy sometimes don't if they don't come off just spin them up and then use them at the end with a pair of needle nose and it comes right off So this one was kind of being a booger, so I just kind of let it be a booger. And uh, this started with the other one, and it still is on there, but it doesn't matter because we're going to replace this one. Even though this one kind of still works, it's old and rusted, and I bought enough to make sure I can get the other to work properly. So make sure this is positioned this way. We will take these longer rivets. Um, they're about a half inch. It's the 3 8 diameter on that. Go ahead and put it in your tool make sure you do have the correct one on for that three eighths go ahead and push it all the way up let's go ahead and do this one right here first and it is important you keep this as level as possible and just keep pressing and you'll hear a pop at some point just like that and sometimes it falls right out the back this is an older rivet gun so sometimes it doesn't always fall out the back anymore and sometimes it even gets stuck, but it's okay because it didn't take much to get it out. Here's that next one. We'll go right here and go ahead and start getting it riveted in. And you can see this is where that old one was. Okay, you got two done so far. You got two more to go. There's the other one. Let's 
go ahead and get up into this front side right here. Make sure that's nice and level right where we want it. And we'll just go ahead and keep pushing down on it. And it popped off as well. Go ahead and push that in. I think the newer rivet guns are probably a little bit better than this one. Like I said, I've had this one forever. Doesn't really matter to me though, because they still work. It's just not as convenient getting the last little chunk out of it. There it goes. And right there, that is nice and secure. That will allow it to pull just how it needs to. Now I'm gonna do one other thing real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and go ahead and cut it right here. And that way we can figure out how long this needs to be. So we'll grab our new coated wire. And I'm gonna make it as long as the other one is, other than a couple of inches because we can trim this back once we get it in place. And we're gonna go ahead and start working on that loop. So we're gonna put it up and through one end, just like so. And then we're going to take our needle nose and just slightly open this up. I'm just gonna use this pair of scissors. It'll help open it up just a little bit. That's all you had to do, just a little. And we'll go ahead and slide this over. This will just help make sure this doesn't break off. And then remember, we've already slid it on one time. Just going to put it over and around for right this second. And put it up and through the other side. Just like so. Then we're going to bring it forward to where it sits on this nice and tight. Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our crimp tool. And this one goes in that last one right there. And we will crimp down all the way. I'm gonna go up and crimp twice on this one. And that right there is good to go every time you pull that. And then we'll go ahead and fish it down through this piece so it's ready for the other side. Remember, we gave it a little bit of extra space, which is great. It's really what I wanted to do. And then we'll come back and get this little cover piece in a few moments after we get the other side nice and in there. So this may take a couple of seconds to push this through. And there it goes. It went out the other side. And then we'll go ahead and go to the other side now that that's nice and through, just how we want it to be. So now that you're on this side, we're going to go ahead and line this up and go ahead and get those four pieces that we need. One, two, three, and four. We'll go ahead and put it in. Slide this in here and press it down. And then we'll go ahead and stick it in one of the holes and begin to tighten it down. Okay, there we go. So we'll go ahead and grab the next one, go ahead and put it in. And then we'll stick it in here and begin to Use the rivet tool. And sometimes that does happen. You just got to come and you can just cut it off just like so. Go ahead and get the next one in.
Okay, we'll get the last one. Perfect. So that is good set up, ready to go. <clears throat> go ahead and grab this. We'll go ahead and put it through the first time. Go ahead and spread this out just a little bit. Just like so. Go ahead and grab this. And now this one's going to be a little bit longer. I cut it long just to make sure we had enough. You'll go ahead and stick it back through that connector. And sometimes these do fall out as you're putting the other piece in. So I'll just kind of put some pressure on that. And as this one comes forward, This has just a little bit of wiggle room. I'm gonna pull just a little bit tighter. So when you do pull it, it should come pretty quick. Oh, this piece fell off again. Once you secure this down, this one won't fall out as long as it is done correctly. I like that right there. We will go ahead and clamp the front side of it down. Just like that and then we'll go towards the back side and clamp it down and then I'm just going to cut some of the excess off you don't want that hitting your hand and then we will go ahead and take this there's a couple ways you can do this if you want to use JB weld you can but you do have to let it sit long enough um, I ended up having some of this gorilla mounting tape double-sided it's indoor outdoor it is one inch. That's, I think, the only thing I don't like about it, but I'm going to show you how we're going to get away with it being an inch. I'm going to have to cut that little piece right there. So you're going to take this one and your next one. Set them right next to each other. And because it is an inch, we're just going to carefully put those close. just like so and then we're going to cut it and we're going to press it down really really good if you had half inch it'd work even better uh, but I don't so you kind of use what you got and you're gonna take your blade and just bend it just a touch May take a couple of times to go through it, and that's okay. Just watch your hand on the back side as you're doing this. And that right there is perfect on that side. We're gonna do the same thing again on this side. Little ingenuity right here. And because this only is really guarding your hand from ever hitting this, it doesn't need to have like all this ability to hold a whole lot of weight. I think this said 15 pounds, which is pretty awesome um, that there's tape out there today that can do that. Go ahead and press this down nice and tight. Now these are okay to touch right now if you need to for leverage or anything like that. Uh, but as soon as we unpeel that, we won't want to touch that. And then we'll do the same thing. Go ahead and begin to cut. just like so uh, then you have the ability of just pressing it right down on top of there so you'll go ahead if you can peel real easily go for it or if not just put your knife in there it'll help get that right off same thing over here uh, then we'll go ahead and put this down to block that and normally they do say to hold this on there for a good amount of time, probably at least 30 seconds to a minute. 
So that's good. So we're going to go ahead and go to the other side. Just want to show you it works really well. And so we'll go ahead and do this side as well. Same concept. Just stick your blade in there. Pull back. This is where you don't want to touch it. Same thing here. And pull back. Set that stuff off to the side. Get it nice and lined up where you want it. Press down and hold that thing down for a bit. And now it's time to test it. So let's just go ahead and test this. You see it right here, all new cord and new pull tabs. So when you shut it, you can go ahead and pull it back up and it works again. If this was helpful, please like, subscribe, comment if you do have any questions. Uh, I have another video coming out soon because when I got this truck, this piece was missing. And so I'll show you how to do this one as well. And so it should be very, very similar, but I do want to show you uh, exactly how I do that. And so on both sides, it is completely missing. So we'll definitely have to fill this, uh, then go ahead and put that on there correctly. Please like, subscribe, give me any comments if you have them, if I can help you in any other way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.